Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Most certainly physical pain. And emotionally, you can see like the dog, like if you're yelling at your dog for chewing something up, they do, uh, they do understand that. I do believe that they feel physical pain for sure, and probably emotional pain, yes. Yes, I do believe that animals feel both emotional and physical pain. No. No. Not like personally, like right in front of me happening, but I've watched a lot of documentaries about it and have like in depth discussed it with a lot of people. And so through the things I've seen, it's really terrible what they're doing to animals. I've witnessed the results of it. I've never seen it in action, but in uh, in my job, we have been called to places where dogs were chained up out in the freezing cold, and uh, been in basements where dogs were underfed. And, and uh, cats were housed in places that uh, weren't suited for them, so I have seen it. Well, because like, I believe animals are part of our family. So for an example, let's say I have a friend who's not an animal lover, but you're coming to visit my home. I'm not going to put my dog away because it's his house. So he has a right in being free. Well. I, I happen to uh, eat meat, so uh, I don't think they should be treated equally as human beings because uh, I raise uh, sheep and uh, then they end up in my freezer. <laughs> I, I wouldn't raise humans and have them end up in my freezer. I think that in our society we should be able to. That's not to say that like there isn't like a food chain, but with the way that society has evolved, I don't think that we're in that natural sort of habitat where that needs to apply. So I think that in at this time we should be able to do that. Absolutely. Uh, anything that we can do to make it better um, from a neighborhood standpoint, you know, throughout the world we should try to do. I do, yet I don't because I don't know the way humans are treated and animals are treated. I feel like maybe animals are treated a little bit better. Oh, definitely, yes. I think it's one of them. It's definitely not the hugest issue because I know that it's not quite as common as some other really terrible things that are going on in the world, but I think it's something that we should definitely be working on because there are some people that just aren't doing anything to help with any issue, so if that's something they're passionate about, I think they should definitely be working on that. Yes, I believe that is a, a minor issue, but I feel like there are other issues that we should be taking care of first before we look towards that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I used to. I do not right now because everyone in my family is allergic to that. I don't anymore. I've had pets my whole life, but um, about a year ago, um, our last one passed away, and we have been pet free for about a year now. Yes, I, yes, I do. And I think they care about uh, animal abuse than people uh, who don't own pets. Yes and no. I, a lot of people who abuse animals abuse their pets. So, like, people who have exotic pets and stuff do a lot. But then, on the other hand, people who like really care for their pets and are around animals a lot have more of a connection with them rather than people who aren't around animals, which is sort of the same as a lot of other issues, like if you're never around people of a different religion, you're going to be less tolerant of them rather than if you actually know people of that religion. I think they definitely are because they have the attachment to their own animals, so it's easier for them to project those feelings uh, through others. But I think most of the people in the world, um, the, the vast majority, would be sensitive to the issue. It's the people that do the abusing and a, a small percentage that, that we see in the news. So, But I think most people are probably affected by it. Honestly, yes, I do believe that pet owners would 
have a more issue with animal cruelty because they actually have the pets and they have a better bond 